Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description below where you will find links to all my social media shenanigans, including how to get my patterns so you can knit them for yourself, how to join the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group, and how to support me on Patreon. Today, I am addressing one of those instructions that you find in knitting patterns that is an assumed that they just tell you how to do something. They just say, do this thing, and they assume you know how to do it. And it is for you or when you are working in the round, whether you're working on circular needles, uh, double pointed needles, two circular needles, the new flexi flips, however you are working in the round, invariably you are going to get the instruction, join to work in the round, being careful not to twist stitches. And if you are new to knitting in the round, um, you might not know how to do that. And honestly, even if you're an experienced knitter, I ask you, have you ever actually seen a pattern explain exactly what they mean by that? It's one of those things you're just supposed to pick up. Um, and I, I like making videos for these sorts of things. It's sort of like the instruction carry yarn up the side when you're knitting stripes or doing color work. They just assume that this is something that you know how to do because it's in the standard repertoire of knitting. But the patterns never tell you how to do it. And like when I was new, the carrying the yarn up the side, I was like, but how do you do that? Other things, weave in ends, how do you do that? Join in the round being careful not to twist. What do you mean? So that's what this video is about. It, we're going to cut to my hands so that y'all can see and hopefully understand better. I am doing it on a circular needle because it was the easiest way to demonstrate, but the concept is the same. Uh, regardless of what technique you're using, essentially, you want to make sure that your stitches, when you your cast on, does not spiral around your needles and that all of the stitches are oriented in the same manner. So let's cut to my hands. Okay. We, I'm going to start, I've already cast on stitches and honestly, I don't even know how many I cast on. It was just enough so that it would join to knit in the round so I could show you all this. So you have all your stitches cast on to your circular needle. Now, one thing you need to think about is that your cast on, like your knitting, has a right and a wrong side. With this particular cast on, this is the wrong side, and this is the right side. And you can tell that because it's just aesthetics so this, you can see, has that pretty kind of cable going along the bottom. This is the cable cast on. And this side, it just is a little less pretty. So you want to make sure that we are setting this up so that your cable, your right side, is right side out. So what that's going to take is that means I'm going to want this needle it needs to go this way so that the right side is out now what's going to happen is first thing you have to make sure that your stitches aren't twisted so what i'm going to do is i like shoving as many of the stitches as i can up to on the needle because that's where they're going to be kind of tight they're going to tend to swivel less and here is my tail. I want to make sure my tail is down. Now, depending on the cast on you've used, your, your tail might be here or it might not. That's just depending on your cast on. With the cable cast on, this is where my tail is when it's set up for the right side being out. So now, I don't know who taught me this, but the way they describe this to me is if you think about all of your stitches 
you think about them like they're a fuzzy caterpillar. And this is the back of the caterpillar. And these are the little caterpillar feet. And we have bunches and bunches of little caterpillar feet. And all of those feet need to be pointing down. So what you have to do is, so we know this is correct. The right side is facing the outside. So when we're knitting in the round, we'll be looking at it. And then you have to go along. And this, I frequently find it helps to really set it down on a surface and make sure, and you have to rotate and make sure that all of the little feet are pointing in the same direction. Now look right here. See how this comes up and over here? I'm gonna lift it up so you can see it. That, so we've got feet, 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 and then the feet go back here. So we wanna rotate it and see how it's keeping on going. And so, and now we've got multiples here. We've got there and there and there. These are all places where it's spiraled around the cable. So you have to unspiral all of these stitches until you're to the point, see, and we still have a spiral, see there? You gotta keep on unspiraling until all your feet are pointed in the same direction. Now my working yarn is getting wrapped around, so I'm gonna unwrap it. We still have a spiral here, so I gotta do keep on going and keep on going, and here we go. So now my feet are down my feet are down and you check. And when if you're working like with a small circular like this, you can even put it down like this. Okay, and I'm trying to scrunch it so you can see it. And you can see, see, look, see how it popped back out? It needs to be there. See, all the feet are all going in the same direction. All the bottoms of the stitches are down and all of the tops of our stitches are on the cable and there's no more spiraling. There's no more twisting on the needle. Can you see that? Let me see if I can hold it. Now I'm pushing, this needs to be over here for a second. I'm gonna hold the tips. See, and see when I push down how that wanted to spiral out like that? Nope, no, nope, no can do buddy. Needs to stay in. So there we go. So we've made sure all of our stitches are down. Now, the next thing is joining in the round. Now, in theory, you can simply just join. Hang on, I'm getting a stitch marker out of my container of stitch markers. Look, it's got a rocket ship being flown by a crab. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Okay. So, in theory, you can just pick it up and start knitting. But if you've ever tried to knit in the round and found that you're getting a big, long strand of yarn where your join is, it's because that you just picked it up and started knitting around. So what I'm gonna do is making sure they stay in the same place, I'm going to show you how I join. Now I'm holding both these with my left hand so everything hopefully will stay in the correct place. Now, my tail. The tail needs to be below the needle, right? This could be coming off the front. It just depends on your cast on. The big thing you need to make sure is your working yarn, which is this, needs to be coming up through what will be the middle of your work. You don't want this working yarn to be below this needle. You see how that is? That's a no-go because then when you try to start knitting, you'll get an accidental yarn over. So you want to bring that working yarn, it needs to be coming from between the needles and just coming straight up off the needle that it's on, be it front or back. If it's off the back needle, then it just needs to be coming straight up. It needs to sit there. Now, the way I like to join my stitches in the round is, here's my working yarn. It's going straight back. I position my needles and see, see how this wants to go? You need to behave. Again, I've shifted, so I'm going to double check and make sure all my feet are still going in the same direction and not spiraling. They're still good. What I like to do is position my needles to knit in the round, right? And then shove your stitches out toward the end. 
I like to take the first stitch that is on my right hand needle, pick it up with my left hand needle and transfer it to that left hand needle. I'm gonna have to advance a few stitches so it's not too tight. So, okay, I split it, so I'm gonna fix it. There we go. So, and that is my slip knot from when I knit. Do you see what I did? I took the first stitch off the right hand needle and transferred it to my left hand needle purl wise. I didn't twist it. Now I'm gonna take my right hand needle, stick it under the front leg purl wise of the first stitch on my left hand needle and jump it up and over. Now there's gonna be a lot of thumbs involved here, thumbnails to keep things thing. So there, see how I did that? I picked up that first stitch and jumped it up and over and I essentially swapped the positions of the first and last stitch in the round and one of them went through the other one. Okay, I'm gonna put that back and show it to y'all again, just in case it was confusing. Okay, here we go. And then this got a little loose, I'm tugging on. There's my working yarn. So here we go. Taking the first stitch on my right hand needle. I'm using my left hand needle, inserting purlwise through that front loop and just transferring it from my right hand needle to my left hand needle. Okay, then I'm gonna take my right hand needle, insert it through the front loop purlwise of that first needle on the left hand needle. And since this is my working yarn, I can make that a big old, I can just pull it out and pop it up and over so that I've pulled, I've pulled the stitch that was on the right hand needle through the middle of the stitch of the left hand needle and caused them to switch places. Now I can pull my working yarn and tighten that stitch back down. And you see how they're crossed? And at this point is where you place your stitch marker to indicate the beginning of round and you are ready to start knitting. That is one way to join to knit in the round. I'm gonna show you another one. I'm gonna put this back the way it was. Now the other one when you are casting on, you need to cast on one more stitch than your cast on calls for. We're gonna do the same thing in that we're going to transfer the first stitch of the right hand needle to the left hand needle, like that. Then we're going to place my marker to indicate that I'm the beginning of my round and instead of doing the leapfrog, what I'm going to do is knit, or if your first stitch is a purl, purl, these two stitches together. Okay, they're getting a little tight. Let me get them in the right position. And all you do is knit those two stitch, first stitches together. There. See? And so there, you are now joined to knit in the round. So those are two different ways to join to knit in the round. One is what I consider the leapfrog, where you swap the first and last stitch of the round. And the other is when you do your cast on, add an additional stitch and just knit those two first ones together so that it is joined to knit in the round. Now, if you don't do either of those things, let me see if I can do this without losing this stitch. Okay, do, 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 there we go. If you do this without knitting in the round, doing any kind of joining, what you'll just end up doing is just starting to knit. And since my yarn is coming off this left hand needle, it's not even joined at all because of the way I have it positioned. If yeah, so it's not going to join until the second round. If your yarn, let's just pretend that this is my working yarn. It's my tail, but we're pretending it's my working yarn. What would happen is you would knit that first stitch or purl it, whatever your instructions call for. And after you knit a little while, 
what happens is this gets wonky. A lot of times you'll end up with a really long run between at the beginning of your round and it gets awkward and people don't like it. So I like either the leapfrog or the knit two together technique. This has gotten wonky because I transferred it badly. So that is how you join in the round, being careful not to twist. So let me show you, we're going to do the leapfrog again. So we're gonna transfer that and this is it this is how easy it is i'm transferring that the right hand to the left hand grab the left first stitch on the left hand hop it actually first i need to take that marker off because it's in the wrong spot pick that up and there we go put my marker back and now we're ready to start knitting in the round so knit the little rubbing sound is the my needle, <laughs> the cable rubbing. Okay, this is just being awkward because I'm trying to do it under the camera. <laughs> so you're just gonna knit in the round. Now, as you're knitting along, what you need to be aware of is this is your first round and you can twist it. Like this can start, these can start flipping like this. And if you allow them to flip around, you're gonna have problems. So what you do is as you're knitting, pay attention to the fact that these are all staying in the same place and that you're not getting any weird twisties, that it's not spiraling, that it's not causing a problem. And you just got to keep for this first row, you have to be vigilant. <laughs> you have to maintain your vigilance and make sure that you're not getting twisted here that this is not you that you don't end up like this see what happens there so if I let that happen and if this twisted around and I knit that next stitch then I'm going to have a twist in my work you don't want that you want to keep this here now it's just not gonna work there's really you can't fix it so there we go so you just knit, 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 knit. And you are working in the round. Now, the longer, the more rows you get, the more of this that's below the needle, the easier it is to maintain the position of your stitches. Okay, let me get my yarn out of the way. Why are you not behaving, yarn? Do, 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 do. There's my tail, also misbehaving, but here. I'm gonna lay it down so you can see. Well, I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. See how you can still see all of the feet are still pointing. The bottoms are still down. You gotta make sure they stay down because again, like this, they might try to come up like this and you don't want that. You gotta make sure they stay down and stay in position while you're knitting in the round, okay? So have fun knitting in the round. I hope that if you had any questions about uh, joining in the round, being careful not to twist, that this video cleared those up. And even if you are an experienced knitter, maybe a one or two of my how to join stitches, the one of those two tips, maybe they were new on you and it might help you in your future knitting. So. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.